Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going over Q2 of the Lead Code Daily Con, uh, sorry, the Lead Code Contest, uh, Count Unhappy Friends. So this ends up being a data structure lookup problem. Um, but the idea is that, and there's a lot of things to read about this problem. Uh, but yeah, but while you do that, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and join me on Discord. And also, you can watch me solve the third contest afterwards. But basically, you have all these instructions on what, um, what you can do and what you can't do. Um, which is that, and there's a lot of reading, right? So if you haven't read this problem fully, um, or if you have questions about the problem prescription, like let me know, or description, uh, leave a comment below. But the idea is just storing things in a way that you can do lookups in a very quick time. Uh, given that N is 500, you could actually be a little bit slow-ish. But what I end up doing is that I, ha I just have reverse lookup tables where um, okay, so first I put, you know, put the pairs in, uh, and I'm going to go over the code more than I, the algorithm, because I think the algorithm is pretty data structure versus like, you know, because it's all about lookups, right? Um, and then I have this preference table, uh, which is maybe a terrible name, but, but it basically maps, okay, the preference of, uh, you know, this basically allows me to, because you're given the way of like in, in a sorted order of like order of preference, right? So instead now I'm going to map these order of preference from, from, uh, to the index itself. So that like, okay, so it, person index likes person A in the index two position. The variable names are terrible, but basically this is a reverse lookup table so that I can look up, um, so basically, let me write a comment. Uh, person index uh, likes person A the index two most, right? So like that's how like the earlier the better. So index two is how, how where it is. So I had to debug it because I just had some typos and mistakes. But now after you uh, construct the reverse lookup table, you just just do a count of okay for each. For each x and its partner in in pair, which we you know we construct here, for each x that we look at, we go okay. Uh, we look at the entire preference list uh, for that for that um, for that person, and that's the input, right? So for that, and that's the alternate partner. If the partner is alternate, then we break because that means that you know the other invariant has not been true. So um, or the other way, you know, the other thing didn't break. So that means that we've everyone that we so we're optimally happy with our current partner. Otherwise, we look at this, which is that okay, if so now alt if this is not true and it hasn't been true yet, then the alternate partner is you know you you would like to prefer the alternate partner. And then the question is, does the alternate partner prefer you? Right, and the way you could check that I prefer over their own partner, and the way that I have is this preference table where okay, the, uh, this one will give you the rank of the alternates, uh, you know your rank of you, and then this will give you uh, of the current partner, and if the current partner is uh, has a higher rank, meaning if they're later in the positioning, then then that means that you know you are you should be unhappy, and that's why there's a count plus one. Um, so that's you know, like I said, it's all data structure, and if you have to write lookup tables, this should be done in very quickly. Uh, I actually took a lot of time on this contest, and you'll see it later because I ran into some issues of internet, and also, um, uh, and also I just had a few typos because I was being silly, uh, and that's where you know you have to name your things a little bit better. And to be honest, looking at this, uh, the the structure of the code is clean, but the the variable names are terrible, to be honest. Uh, so I should do a little bit better, uh, and that'll help me down the line. Um, and the complexity is just n square because this is n square. Uh, and this lookup is all of one. Um, yeah, and the space is all of n in case you're curious. Uh, well, I guess technically n square because of this thing. But but it's linear in the size of the input because the linear is, uh, the, in the size of the input is n square, right, for the number of preferences. Uh, cool, uh, that's all I have for this problem. Uh, watch me solve it live next. <laughs> Thank you.
From one to him. Nope.
Oh my. Well, that's not great. Well, it looks like this may be unmiked. I don't know. Well, let's just do this one anyway. Points, uh, okay, let's do how many points are there? A thousand. <coughs> Hmm, that's not good. This one, that one is happy. Uh, stupid mistake, but okay. Hey, hey everybody, uh, yeah, th thanks for watching, thanks for, you know, supporting, uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, and yeah, and check out me solving the rest of the contest somewhere in the link below, uh, bye-bye.